So guns are on the agenda, Steve Ratner, but a, a lot more, too, as we look at your charts at President Biden in the first 100 days in office. Let's start just by a 30,000-foot view of what all he's taken on here. Sure, Willie. Let me start with also a fun fact, which is that Joe Biden has issued more executive orders, more substantive proclamations than any president since FDR by a margin. And we can take a look, uh, as you say, from a 30,000 foot level at a few of them by looking at a timeline of his uh, of his tenure so far in office. And so you can see uh, he had an, quite a number of day one executive orders rejoining the, from rejoining the Paris Climate Accord, the Keystone Pipeline, the travel ban, and so forth. And then he moved on. Some of these are very symbol are somewhat symbolic, but they send important messages. Others are very, very substantive. Uh, but but everything from the re repealing the transgender military ban and so on. And then, of course, in March, he signed the first of his rescue plans, the American Rescue Plan, $1.9 trillion. He announced the two and a quarter trillion dollar rescue uh, jobs plan, excuse me. And then tomorrow night, he's going to, of course, announce his third, uh, uh, his third major plan. And he's vaccinated a lot of people along the way. And if we turn to the next chart, you can get a sense of what that looks like. When he took office, there were about uh, just a million people getting vaccinated. He set a goal of 100 million people in 100 days. Some people said it was conservative, given that we were at a million. But in fact, he got to 100 million people in just 58 days. He got to 200 million people in 92 days, i.e. twice as many as he said in a little bit less time. And you, but you can see that the rate of vaccination has begun to turn down slightly. Some people think it's the Johnson & Johnson issue. Other people think it's the anti-vaxxer uh, mentality among some parts of the country. And Joe, uh, we, we had a little fun with Jim Justice at the top of the show about the $100 payments to people in West Virginia. In fact, there are serious economists who say that we should pay all Americans $100 or even more to get vaccinated, that the savings mm. to the economy in terms of getting it restarted, getting it reopened, mm. would actually be greater than that. But that's a, an idea and perhaps for another day. But it's out there and it's a serious, actually a serious idea. Um, th we've seen the results of this in a number of ways. Unemployment insurance claims are going down. GDP growth uh, estimates are being revised up. But here's one that we haven't really looked at before, which is uh, how Americans feel. And you can see that throughout this whole period, before, uh, before the last few weeks, a, a significant minority of Americans felt that they had difficult paying their usual expenses. That's the light blue bars that you see there. A smaller but a very important number, as high as 15 percent last fall, said that they had food scarcity in their household. But look what happened right after the American Rescue uh, Plan passed, which is that the percent of Americans saying they had difficulty paying usual household expenses dropped uh, to a new low. And the percentage of Americans who say they were facing food scarcity also dropped to a new low. So Americans are clearly feeling better both about the substance of what's starting to happen as well as what we talked about before, the fact that government is leaning in and is trying to solve its problems. I just end with one last point that we've alluded to before. We can discuss this policy. We can discuss the fact that government is leaning in and applaud it for that. This is also good politics. The Democrats are going to face a tough re-election, as we've talked about before, in the House and possibly in the Senate in 2022. And having all this forward-leaning, impressive legislative rollouts, as well as the executive actions, the Democrats believe will help them politically get through what we've been discussing correctly to be a very tricky election for the Democrats. Yeah, a tricky election. And we may have been having a little bit of fun with Jim Justice, but... Uh, the governor in West Virginia, I think, has got it right. I mean, he's serious. Whatever it, it takes to get people vaccinated, if it's $100, if it's $200, I mean, what, Mika, the impact that Compared to what it would do for the economy. Well, I was going to say, the impact that that will have yeah. on the economy, yeah. the higher those numbers go up, the closer you get to herd immunity, uh, yeah, that is a small price. The man's on for, to something. For, for any government to pay to get this economy going 100 percent. It, it really, it also would be good, really good, to see President Donald Trump come out and, and do a public service announcement without, without, without any hesitation and talk about how important it is. Embrace the vaccine, embrace Operation Warp Speed as his own. He can even do it in his own way. I did this. 
take my vaccine. It will help you. It will help the economy. It will help your backswing. It will help reverse male pattern baldness, whatever it takes. He needs to get out there and do it because he's one of the few people mm -hmm. that could get a lot of these uh, vaccine hesitant Republicans that supported him off the sidelines. That would be good for America. Yeah. That would be good for our economy. The data shows that would be good for the mental health of Americans. That people who follow Donald Trump and still follow him are the ones who are vaccine hesitant. So yeah. these are his people. He should, instead of getting the vaccine in private, secretly, show publicly that this is something that everybody should have. Steve Ratner, thank you very much. Coming up, the New York Times' Mark Leibovich joins us with his new piece, Kevin McCarthy, four months after January 6th, is still playing defense over Trump. We'll talk about it. Morning Joe is coming right back. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.